Hello mga kawamat. In this video lesson, we will find the derivative of each given functions using the basic differentiation rules. So we have the constant rule, the product rule, constant multiple rule, power rule, and the sum or difference rule. So for first function, we have f of x is equal to 26. So this is an example of constant rule. Now, we're going to apply here the constant rule. So, in getting the derivative, given the constant, so kapag ukuha tayo ng derivative, tapos ang given ay constant, that is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, f prime of x is equal to 0. So, tatandaan natin, kapag ang given na function ay constant, so, automatic yung derivative natin ay 0. So, like for example, dito sa pangalawang function natin, we have g of x is equal to negative 9. So, negative 9 is a constant. So, therefore, pag kinuha natin yung derivative niya, g prime of x is equal to 0. So, dito tayo sa pangatlo, we have the sum. Oh, pwede natin apply dito yung sum rule. Paano kunin yung difference? Uh, kunin na yung derivative. So, x plus 7. So, again, the given is f of x is equal to x plus 7. So, para makuha natin yung derivative niyan, f prime of x is equal to, so, kunin natin yung, isa, uh, kunin natin yung derivative ng bawat isa. Yung derivative ng x natin, yung x plus Okay, yung derivative ng constant natin. Okay. So, we all know that kapag constant ay 0, so dito na lang tayo. So, anong i-apply natin? No? Pwede natin i-apply yung power rule dito. Since yung x natin ay may exponent na 1, so, and then yung 1 na yun, i-multiply natin dito. So, the answer will be, so, yung f prime of x natin dito ay is equal to 1. Okay. So, kapag x lang, so, may coefficient yan dyan. Diba? Parang ganito yan class. So, may exponent siyang 1. Okay. Again, may exponent siyang 1. Tapos, may numerical, siya, numerical coefficient siyang 1. So, 1 times 1, kaya 1 ang sagot. Okay, next tayo dito. y is equal to 4 minus 2x. So, ganun din, no? Pag kukunin natin yung derivative nito, pag hiwalayin natin, kunin muna natin yung derivative ng, okay, ng 4 minus yung derivative ng negative 2x. Okay, so yung... Derivative ng 4 natin, since constant yan ay 0, minus, so yung derivative ng negative 2x, okay, ay no, 2x rather, 2x lang pala ito, kasi yung dito na yung negative. So, ang derivative ng 2x natin is 2. So, therefore, 0 minus 2, the answer is negative 2. So, ito yung derivative ng y is equal to 4 minus 2x. Next, so, dito gagamitin natin ng power rule yung pang lima natin. f of x is equal to x raised to 9. So, paano gagawin yan? Okay, yung exponent natin doon magiging ganito. So, kunin natin yung derivative niya. So, ilalagay natin sa unahan, multiply yung x. Tapos, copy lang yung given natin. And then, yung exponent natin dito, babawasan natin ng isa. So, bali yung mga giging derivative na lang nito is 9 times x, 9 minus 1 is 8. So, ito yung derivative ng x raised to 9. 